commodity taxation and deadweight loss. If there is any tax, it is going to affect the consumption. It is going to reduce consumption. One. Secondly, what is tax? Tax is the way that you are transferring the purchasing power from individuals to the government. Government is the one who is putting the tax. Na? So your income is going towards the government. So you are transferring the purchasing power from individuals to government. And one important thing is that any tax, any efficient tax would want to minimize the welfare loss due to taxation. And this is what we are going to look at. So let us first of all take up the case of the lump sum tax. So on the y-axis you have all of the goods, on x-axis you have beer. And this is the budget constraint which you have. Supposedly you are not consuming anything of beer and this is the case which is before tax. So if you are not consuming anything of beer, what is this particular point telling you? This particular point is telling you that this is your income before tax. This is your income before tax. Now supposedly tax is imposed. So the moment tax is going to be imposed, then this budget line is going to be shifted inwards. Lump sum tax, right? This budget line is going to be shifted inwards from YB to Y dash B dash. What is this point telling you now? Now this point is telling you that what is your income after tax? Because this is the point when you, when you are not consuming any beer, right? So this is the income which is left, right? So this is, this was income before tax. This guy is income after tax. And this thing is the amount of the lump sum tax. Lump sum tax is the amount which is fixed. It is the fixed amount of the tax which is going to be paid by individuals regardless of their income levels, regardless of their consumption choices. Right. Commodity taxes that if you are consuming this particular commodity, you will have to pay tax per unit. So if you are consuming 10 units of beer, for every unit of beer, you will have to pay some tax. That is a commodity tax. So the question which we are trying to answer is that when commodity taxation is put in place, how much extra loss in welfare happens due to the commodity tax as opposed to the lump sum tax? If commodity tax is also having the same impact on utility, lump sum tax is also having the same impact on utility, how much extra tax revenue you can have with the lump sum tax. This is what we are trying to answer. Supposedly, this is the situation before tax. So on the YB budget constraint, uh, this is the maximum utility you can have and you are sitting at point E, right? You are sitting at point E. Now, supposedly, commodity taxation is put on beer. So budget line is going to pivot like this. There is no commodity taxation on all of the goods, but there is a commodity taxation on beer. So budget line is going to pivot like this. You can have less amount of beer now. And given this budget constraint, let's say you have uh, this thing as the utility. Right? This guy as the utility. Fair enough. Uh, let's say you are sitting at this point. E star. Hmm? Okay. And uh, this is the budget line if the lump sum tax is put. This is the budget line if the lump sum tax is put. Let's say this is tangential to U2 at this point. Your E hat. Because what we want to show is Right. What we want to show is that uh, you have the same effect on utility because of the commodity tax or with the lump sum tax, whichever way you have the same impact on utility. So let's say it is like this. Fair enough. Now, the point is how much is the tax revenue you can have with the tax with the with the commodity tax and how much is the tax revenue you can have with the lump sum tax? So lump sum tax, though, you know, na, the difference between the two parallel lines, the two parallel budget lines, that is the amount of the tax which you have. So with the lump sum tax, this is the amount 
of the tax uh, a hat so this a hat e hat a hat e hat is the revenues with lump sum tax lump sum tax right and note that with lump sum tax also you have the same utility with commodity tax also you have the same utility this is the point which you want to make lump sum tax tax with same effect on utility moves the budget constraint the budget from YB to, uh, to YB hat, Y dash by B hat, no, lump sum tax, na? Y dash Y B hat, fair enough. Uh, so you, you understand now this Y dash by uh, Y dash B hat is uh, uh, the, the budget line with the lump sum tax. This Y B dash is the is the budget line with the commodity tax. Fair enough. Uh, now, with the with the uh, commodity tax, how much is the tax revenue? Okay, how much you are consuming with the commodity tax? This much. This is what you are consuming. Okay. This is the amount this A star E star A star E star are the revenues which are raised with the commodity tax it's with the commodity tax Now you guys tell me, both lump sum tax and commodity tax are having the same effect on utility, yes? Both of them are bringing individual to utility, you too. With commodity tax, you are having the tax revenue as only A star E star. While with the lump sum tax, the tax revenue is A hat E hat. So this difference, which is what we are calling as E star F because beta ye, this difference, this is the parallel, uh, this, this is the distance between the parallel lines. Na? So that distance is same. Uh, so A star F is equal to A hat E hat. Out of A hat E hat, A star E star is recovered from the commodity tax. So what is not recovered is E star F. This is the dead weight loss. E star F is the dead weight loss. Uh, so E star F is what the additional revenue which the government can raise with the lump sum tax instead of the commodity tax. Right. So and that too having the same effect on the utility. So you can write all this also. Uh, um, <clears throat> this is uh, the additional revenue which government would raise 
विद लमसम टैक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ कमोडिटी टैक्स हैविंग द सेम इफेक्ट ऑन यूटिलिटी इफेक्ट ऑन यूटिलिटी राइट सो दिस इज वॉट द कमोडिटी टैक्सेशन एंड द डेड वेट लॉस इज right with an application of indifference i hope uh, it was useful to you thank you beta